change the batteries on the mouse. All right, we're going to start this match up right here, right now. All right, here we go. Game number three. Unfortunately, uh, I'm, 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 I'm... Oh, yeah, I can, actually. Okay, I can. There you go. Go ahead and we'll sync these up right here. Okay. Now we should be pretty well Got synced well. there. We're going to rapid fire these matches here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rapid fire through these matches that they've got coming up here. Yep, shout out to our tech crew. Kong. <laughs> yeah. Just Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, well, what a guy. It's me today. <laughs> we're making it work, though. He's not even really a big Metroid fan. He likes the dude in blue. You know, Sonic. Yeah, that's me, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic X, right? Or is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Sonic. That's what I like. Sonic, yeah. I'm sorry. All right, so we're working on the. Climbs here. Here we go. Getting into the little connector into Yellow Land. Yeah, we're calling it Yellow Land. Forget Bread Star. It's just, it's like, it's like when you drink wine and you take a pee. That's what that is. Uh, no, Colin. Unless you, unless your body fluids are gold. Well, that's I, what I'm saying. When, say, you, when, you get, when you get super, super drunk. I'd say, know? uh, I, I'd say a doctor. <laughs> it's cold. It's just when you get drunk. A, a, a daughter or a ponch? What's the name of the dude from the ponch? <laughs> ponch or <is> Big <laughs> Hoss? Or Boss Hog or whatever his name uh. is? <laughs> Big Hoss? Is that the guy from Ponch Stars? <laughs> My name is Bro from RGL. And there's one thing I know is I've never known what's going to come through this <laughs> one night only tournament next. Oh, boy. I gotta tell these runners. Well, sorry. Sub-20 is the best I can do. You see, I got, I got, a, I got a tournament here. You know, you're waiting. I don't know it's everything the about The best Metro I can do is Sub-20. So I called it an expert. Yeah, let me, let me talk to an expert. Glitching, that's right. He, he deals with all this stuff. <laughs> Always the best part is that the expert dude was on, it's worth like a ton, and then he'll still love all. <laughs> That could be that worth could up to $30,000. Yeah, I'll give you 10. 10, you know, it's, it's, you know, I'm the one taking risk here. You know. Also, a Metroid. Hey, everybody. So, Janet and Kov, um, I know Kov from, uh, Big 20 fame. Janich, I'm not too familiar with, but it looks like these two. All he knows is draft. Janich doing that rap. He's going to go with that ice beam. Ice man, yo. Ice beam, yo. I, did a, I little, get that. I did a little wink for you there when I did that. I get it. I get it. Can I, can I call uh, Craig Nacho for you? Oh, yeah. Alright, someone make me a... Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> nice ROM hack with the Nacho Kong head on there, please. <laughs> There we go, Cobb getting the wrap. Jin is already making his way down into Norfair. Jin is doing pretty well here. Yeah, they're both wheeling and dealing so far. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the RNG treats them. Okay, so the good way to tell how the manipulation is going to be is by these dudes that are jumping out of the lava. If they jump really, really high, um, it's a bad pattern. But if they do very small jumps, it means you got the right RNG. So huh. it's, uh, yeah, the good pattern. That's the best way to indicate how it's going to go. So that means Janich and Cobb are both going to get the best Ridley pattern possible. Very cool. Yep. Bro, you said there was a seven ball? I think it was. Could be wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, I used to be obsessed with billiards. Let's stay tuned for our lunar pool when it only tells <laughs> uh, All, uh, was it like a hundred levels? All hundred levels. Mm hmm. That sounds... Well, you win this time, Ro. It's a seven ball. Was it? Yeah, that was a good guess. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Um, I, I got... Uh, DSP. No, wait, ESP. Yeah. ESP, yeah. you got Dark Side <laughs> No, no, I don't. I don't want that. No, no. <laughs> That's the bad thing. <laughs> bad, it's already yours. That's the bad thing. Oh, thank you. I don't think he wouldn't play Metroid very well. He'd probably play in the game or something. Oh. Oh, I have to do this. Chain it. There we go. He's, like I said, he's got the good pattern. Good manipulation right there. He's just going to chase after those purple balls. going to let these guys go by. So ideally what you want to do. Like when you go further in, then you're gonna want to freeze these guys, maybe take a hit or two, sneak underneath that platform, and yep, jump your way to the door. Yeah, Janus, just a few seconds ahead of the call up here. We'll I'll see how the Ridley fight goes, since they both are do have the good pattern. Yo, yo, very nice maneuvering around all these um, to you. yeah once you figure out how more or less they're gonna go then it, it's very easy to get just get past them like if you get pretty worried about what's gonna happen you just freeze them oh, look at that or, yeah look at that nice spread there by Janet she's gonna take care of Ridley nicely done that's some good mashing right there so you must be mashing select very good stuff. He's going to up in A, back to the elevator. He's going to make his way back to Britain's Park. We'll see what route these guys do, if they're going to grab any extra E tanks or they not. Cop here has got some good mashing going. And yep, takes out Ridley pretty fast too. Now, I notice people don't go for the E tank behind uh, Ridley, which I guess yeah it would take a little bit of time, a detour time. But I used to do all the time anyways. Uh, uh, no. Take a look at take that, look at that uh, other uh, E tank. Oh yeah, Jane no it's way, Jose. Look at that, Jane. It's very calm. You know, he doesn't need a tank. Tank smank. I'm making my way to crate. Let's see if Kav does the same thing. 
Ah, uh, right, they don't have any uh, bombs to get that tank. No, they don't. So, the okay, so this is, see this, where, this is where uh, I usually get my E-Tank before going down to Crane. Okay, no, I'm thinking of another room. So I've never seen this route before then. Oh wait, that is normal. Never mind. I just got very confused or something. Trade fight, and yes, he's gonna be doing that one strat. Usually, what uh, other runners do, I guess, if they're taking that more efficient route, is what they do is they're gonna make their way to Crade, and then they're going to activate the e uh, hidden spot and grab the E tank before fighting Crade. It's a very tricky, difficult thing to do. It's pretty advanced, especially for me. So, seeing Genix pull that off flawlessly and kill Crade. Awesome stuff right there. Was able to uh, wipe out Crate really fast. Yeah, nice job yeah, nice doing that. Cough making his way to Crate. Looks like he's. Looks like he grabbed the E tank before though, because now he's got two. So he he might have a slight advantage over Janich for having an extra E tank if he's gonna grab the one in uh, Crate's room, which he likely will. Also, don't loan me, guys, please. Very unprofessional. Yes, the big difference is, uh... Janus is only going into that room. But if going in there, then going to Crade, then coming back through here to go to... So... Yep, so there he goes, Gene. Janus grabs the, uh... E-Tank on his way over there. Which will save him a little bit of time... Uh, for farming. So all he has to worry about is... Getting the right amount of missiles. But what it's going to come down to, Kong, is how they handle the other brain room. Which will be pretty impressive, I imagine. Yeah, it looks like even if you're, you know, super good at Metroid, that, that mother brain room just sucks. It really does. <laughs> it's a matter of rolling the dice. See, I think you can get it down and get better at it, but man, I think it's at some point in time, there's just so much crap being shot at you. It's just such a pain. Yeah, the thing is, uh, like, some guys, like... I guess that makes fly guy. Well, let's bring him up again. I guess it's not because he's just a little better or anything. It's just I don't know. I guess I could bring him up. Anyways, you know the McFly guy. I see him. He goes through that area with so little health. I'm thinking to myself, oh man, this guy's such a show off. I'm also thinking this guy. He kind of uh, he's actually really really good at uh, dodging and stuff. So the thing is, called if you get really really good at evading. Um, bullets and those rings uh, uh, it really pays off but uh, you know doing the maneuvers doing the rolling into a ball and then like doing the second jump is very essential to like getting to the platforms fast and then you know taking out the barriers pretty fast because if you can you could take down the barriers pretty fast if you just kind of uh, if you're already used to that room practice that room constantly save state every single part of that room. Yeah, you can do pretty well. Look at that. Like, Janet's right there. He rolled off, and then he did that second jump. That's really good. Really right there. That's awesome. It's like, so he is going to be farming for missiles. It's probably going to be the very last one. And that's, uh, that, uh, that honestly is a really good speed. So I was just ignoring the Metroids in the other room. and just waiting until the last room to, uh, farm Metroids for health or missiles. It looks like he didn't get any missiles. He got some extra health. He'll be good. So 
He only has about three E tanks. He's gonna want this. It could be bad RNG if he gets nothing but health. It's like it's so far just yeah. health. Yeah. So what he'll do is he's going to open the door and then he's going to uh, probably come back here. Or I think he doesn't need to leave the room to respawn these guys. They just leave the screen. Now the worst case scenario is that there's no absolutely no missiles and he runs out. There's 203. There we go. Looks like we're rolling. Yeah, he's ready now. It looks like Kong even has less E tanks. I I guess he didn't pick up one in trades room. Oh man, this is uh, Kong's pretty confident, or he's just forgot it. And he just said, "Forget it, I'm gonna go do it." As you can see right there, that movement, Kong, he's like, um, he's jumping up, he's mashing those missiles right into that barrier, taking him out pretty fast. Phoenix doing very well with this. It's, and it's honestly better to get hit by those green slime lasers than to get touched by the Spaghettios. Well, yeah, everybody wants to get slimed on Nickelodeon. You can't do that on television here. Oh, <laughs> oh he got touched, though. That one somehow managed to avoid his, his beam right there. There we go. Nice, good setup right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he freezes perfectly when he pays. That's awesome stuff right there. He's going to be nailing those missiles, but he's also doing very well to keep an eye out on these uh, spawning rings. He got a little bad luck right there, getting knocked in the lava. But there he goes. He's keeping that fire consistent, going 30 missiles. He's got more than enough to finish off Mother Brain. There we go. He has them right where he wants them. He frees them right in place. There he goes. Yep. Cobb right behind him. But well, Cobb's going to want to be very careful. He's only got. Yep, he's lost his last E tank. Let's see how Cobb goes. But it looks like Jane is just taking this one. Everybody give a GG to Janich. GG to both our runners here. This is such an awesome match. This guy did, did very well. There's some awesome tier of Metroid running right here. That's a round one. GG right there. Seventeen, sub eighteen minutes. That is such a good time. Yeah, and they're gonna they're just gonna go ahead and they're gonna get ready and we're gonna run it back, so uh yeah. Yep, can't wait to see this time. Let's see if uh these are some very interesting strats uh by these dudes right here. Cough with the uh very low E tank uh usage as well as Janich. Um, I mean, a slightly different, um, different route than I thought. So it's a very interesting race. Let's see how it goes here. It's be pretty awesome. Right, yeah, they're going to start up here. And on to race number two. We're going to see if Finnish can close this out in two rounds, or this match is also going to go to round three.
Yep, here we go right here. Pretty awesome. You guys are almost in sync already. How's he done? These guys not missing the jumps at all. They're getting their way and they're going to get to the first rocket pack. Missile pack, sorry. No problem. go with the missile pickup again these guys almost in sync very optimal movement right here by Kov and Janich Janich reigning in the first round let's see how it goes here these guys are both very capable of doing some very daredevil strats having a minimum amount of health having a minimum amount of uh, there's a small to minimal amount of uh, e tanks as well as uh, doing doing very well on um, their wraps, as well as their boss threats, doing very well on those. We saw how well they did on the Mother Brain uh, hallway. It's very awesome stuff, so we'll see how it goes here. It's like they haven't been able, they haven't had any problems at all. Nothing, uh, no soft, no sorry, any problems like that. It's a very cool match so far. Rotor Storm, thank you for those bits. Appreciate those, bud. Doing a little beep beep, but we're getting that E tank, so no. No more beep. Kong, would you would you boop uh, great on the nose? Yeah, I'd boop a snoot. Boop his snoot. You heard it. You heard it already. I would too. It's 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 pretty down the door. Only Super Metroid Great, actually. I'm not a fan of Metroid. <laughs> uh how dare you, sir. NES uh, NES Crate is a chump. All all eight bit characters are beautiful in their own way. No ice beam. Can you an ice beam? Like I said, Colin, these guys are really close behind each other. Yeah, this this is this is super tight so far. Yeah, this optimal movement right here. These guys nail what they're attempting to do first time. Awesome stuff. Now, see, right there in J-Niche, if you get, if you do, <laughs> once you get used to that wrapping, you get to do it pretty fast. It comes out looking like this. Same thing with Kov. Both these guys know how to do it pretty fast by now. Fair. Yep, pretty good movement here. A little bit of slowdown on comp side because of the route he's taken. So I guess when the purple guy's on the screen as well as the little furry guys, uh, the screen kind of slows down a bit. So many guys. Looks like they both got the same optimal. Of course, with the speed, pace they're going, yeah, they're gonna get the good, um, good patterns, good uh, manipulation. Good yeah, RNG. Jane is a little bit of a 
increased the lead a little bit there in that last room. Yeah, I think it was the, the little bit of slowdown that Cobb went through by the game. A little head start. Look at that. Very nice shots right there from Jane. She's doing very well in the Avoiding or freezing these enemies right here, so there's no contact damage whatsoever. Really good stuff. Very, uh, nice shots there. Get... You had to practice it quite a few times to get confidence with those shots. It was a very tight window. Very perfect, even. There we go, avoiding those two guys, and here come the annoying flies, you can just kind of, uh, you can manipulate them, because the thing is, they'll come out of those pipes, I guess you could call them pipes, uh, they'll come out as um, high as you are, so they, so they can just nail you. So if you jump extremely high and then, you know, go, um, go back down, you can avoid them. Yeah, so if you're Snoop Dogg, they come out, like... Top of the screen. Yeah. Oh, it's super high. high. Yeah. Oh, weed every day. But Kong winners don't do drugs. That's right. That's what I heard. <laughs> don't tell me those those 80s arcade machines are wrong. <laughs> Happy I got to make a Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Kong, wow. What's next? A 50 cent joke? Let's give everybody a nacho, Kong. Wow, really good stuff right there. Especially in the purple hell room. And here he goes. He's gonna get into uh, Ridley's. He didn't roll in, so he got hit by Fireball. Well, that's okay. He's got the header down. Look at that. He's completely stomaching Ridley. Get Cobb doing a little better to avoid damage. Nah, uh, they're okay. dead, Ridley. I don't know. Is that how the song went? Smoke weed in moderation. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the game at hand here. <laughs> There is a dead Ridley on call screen, so yeah, very close, these two Ridleys. Yep. Let's see, we'll see what so time the they get back to, uh, back to start. We'll see what yep. we got looking. So the best place you want to do up in the game, which will not take you back to the beginning of the game, it's going to take you back to the beginning of the entire section of that. So the most optimal spot for up in the A is the very top of the elevator, as soon as the elevator stops. Not a second earlier or later than that. Eight fifty three, nine oh six. So thirteen seconds looks like they're apart. Man, looks like Cobb is going to. I don't remember if Cobb is going to go for the uh, E tank. He is. He is going to go for that E tank. Remember, right, these guys do their E tank strengths a little different. So if I remember right, and this is just like uh, the last match, this will be Cobb's last e tank. He's only going to use two, and he could do very well with only two. He didn't have almost no problems at all in the Mother Brain hallway. Janich, not picking up any e tanks. He's going to pick up one in Parade's room. Let's see if Cobb picks up that one, or he's just going to avoid it again. Co, I've been saying it wrong this entire time. Darn it, Kong's supposed to tell me. No, oh. I did it too. Sorry, Cobb. It's not like I said. Oh. Yeah, I was, I'm sad now because I was really hoping it was like corn. Oh, I didn't want to say that, but yeah. 
trying to bring up corn as much as I possibly That's can. That's concakes at rglcd.com. At 15 health, grab that e tank swag. There he goes. Yeah, there he goes. Awesome stuff right there. He avoided all the projectiles thrown by Raid. He made his way. And now he's more than ready to go do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just grind his fist right into Raid there. Yeah. Got his blood and guts and brains all over his power cannon. And then he's going to up to knee. Alright, alright. Cove right into. Cove! Right. <laughs> Darn it. Cove right into the uh, grade room. Here he goes. And that little bit of mashing right into uh, Great's face. Literally getting in his face. And yep, like a, yep, just like the uh, last match, Colin Key is not going to go for Great's uh, E tank. He is too good for that. But Janich is going to pick up that uh, Rinstar E tank at the beginning. And you know, that E tank is also a Super Metroid. But you already knew that, right? Yeah. Get it with a nice little damage boost. Yep. Oh, we have uh, right here in the chat room, we've got Toad, as everybody knows, the world record holder in Metroid. Where you say hi to Toad? Wait, what? Toad? Oh. Is that guy McFly? McFly holds a world record? Really? That Toad had every world record. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. I guess... Toad must have the Super Metroid world record or something. I don't know. Full health here. Rolling into... Would you say he's touring his way to touring? <laughs> Yogi got that joke. How dare, how dare you, Shema? Moving in now to go uh, go get past... Look, full health, but not too bad. Probably just going to skate by all these Metroids like last time and just some the ones at the end grab some missiles. Yep. Disrespecting the Metroids, I ignored them. Yep. Sorry. Ignoring Metroids is pretty painful, guys. So when you see a Metroid, just please give them a little bit of attention. Pat them. Maybe you don't touch their teeth, though. The thing on the bottom is their teeth. Alright, and Cove is also moving in to fighting the, fighting the Metro. He's getting some nice missile drop right there. Now getting some health. It looks. Yep. Janich. Doing pretty well running down these things. It's running down those, uh, back and forth down those, um, the pipes or whatever. It's a lot faster than rolling down them. And we know it's, it's a little safer to roll down it because you can avoid Metroids faster, but, uh, it's, it's much, it's much faster just to run. And he's got the perfect amount of missiles. He's got a good amount of health. He can make. Yeah, it's just looking pretty good here on. I oh, has to take out that one because uh, it gets missiles for the trouble. Yeah, we're looking all right here, looking fresh. Yep, let's see how my brain runs go. Okay, you're always gonna get hit by one of the spaghettios entering this room. Unfortunately, it just always happens. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He is completely focused on taking out those barriers. And that's what exactly what he's going to do. Yep. Really focused. Look at that. Even the SpaghettiOs had no time to catch up to him. He is being that fat. Janich is probably going to take this one. But we'll see right now. Anything can happen. We could get that pattern. The only problem with uh, shooting these uh, things, 
uh, the rings oh, and killing them is that they could give you the bad pattern because you know they spawn instantaneously. It could very much inconvenience you. There he goes, popping those missiles into the thing. Oh man, here he goes. Oh, he's gonna have to move. It's a little hard to do so. Oh, he gets bounced off. Yeah. Three hits left from me. It's, yep, it's a ripple effect, but that's okay because look at that. He's got. He's right back in there. He's right back in there. He's popping missiles. He takes Mother Brain down, and he's going to make his way to the accent where he's gonna go and do his victory jumps. GG already to Janich, everybody. GG to our runners. Kovo is right behind him. Impressive stuff right there. But the way that Janich does his strats, if Kovo was doing very same strats, he probably would have died because, again, Janich, I guess you can see when he's doing his strats, he knows the amount of uh, E-tanks he needs. While Kovo is going to have to do some things very differently as he only has two e tanks. Again, GGCR runners. Really impressive race right here. Oh, confirmed in chat. One second PB. Congratulations. Seemed like he was on PB base. Awesome stuff right there. Congrats. Congrats to both these guys. Doing very well. Look at that. 1633 and 1717. Let's go ahead and take a look at these updated brackets. You see, Janet's moving to the semifinals. We'll take on the winner of Cypher and Metro 